Hello, hello. I am doing some energetic readings. We got past, present, and future. Let's see what's going on with everybody. Uh, I'm going to be using some different cards today for a lot of different reasons, but we're going to start with the flower cards. Okay, so in the past, we have the chestnut bud. Somebody has been adding some joy into their life, and I'm very thankful to see that for you. Uh, I also see that you have some budding projects that are getting ready. I would think at this point, the energy that I'm picking up, you're going to have some stuff coming into fruition here if it hasn't already. Let's see what we've got going on in the present. We have the white chestnut in reverse. So um, for some of you, you're feeling a little bit disconnected from spirit here. Uh, it's in the 35, which goes into an 8. So this might be a reminder to kind of balance out, take some time out from all this fun and loveliness that you're doing and just rest a little bit. In the future position, we have the honeysuckle number 17, or excuse me, number 16, which goes into a seven. Um, I really feel, again, that something is going to be coming into fruition here. I'm going to pull the hidden card for you. This is Gorse, number 13. 13 is not an unlucky number. It actually used to be a number of luck. And I see you standing in a lot of confidence here. You might not even realize how much confidence you're standing in. We also have Mustard coming out here, going into a three. All that yellow. Um, mustard, and I'm thinking of a mustard seed. <clears throat> you can look it up online. Um, this is something that expands in a great way, okay? Okay. Uh, exponentially is what I'm hearing. So have confidence in that fact is what I'm being told to tell you. Let's get some scry cards here. I have a ship in reverse. Some of you were expecting something to come in that didn't. That might be why you feel disconnected from spirit. I'm hearing divine timing to let things propagate as they will. There are things going on behind the scenes you might not be aware of. We have the snake coming in here. Um, everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to, because, but I do feel you kind of getting out of sorts with something here. You expected something to come in the same, a certain way, and it didn't, okay? And expectations can do that for us sometimes, right? If we're in our assuming mode or expectation you kind of have to be in that flow we've got the bear coming in here in the potential future this is going to be really friendly for you um things might even work out better than you've planned you don't understand how much you're blooming here exponential growth is what i'm hearing okay yeah and we have mice coming in too um multiply 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 okay i don't know if you've ever if you're aware of nature and how much mice multiply, but they're kind of like rabbits, okay? Um, I do see you kind of putting down the expectations, the studying. Sometimes book learning is completely different than real life, and I think you're kind of going to be adjusting to that. Yeah, we have Clover coming in. You are going to feel, quote-unquote, lucky again. I feel like you felt disconnected kind of from those serendipity moments, and um, it's because you need to tune back in. You need to, like, you know, identify, process, clear, release, okay? We have the wind fairy, thoughts, words, and intellectual analysis. You could be way up in your head too much, like a mind trap in your head, possibly. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and pull another oracle card for you. I'm hearing the word burgeoning. Okay, something that you are starting to do is going to come up roses. It's multiplication. There's a chance that you could meet a life partner there if that's something that you're interested in. Yeah, blessed is coming out here. We've got go the distance and we have the yin energy. This is about learning to take care of yourself in all situations, bringing in that divine feminine to all situations because I feel I'm just getting a lot of rigidness here. Okay, like you have to let things go and let it flow. I do see also, again, a chance for a partnership coming in. Okay, we're done with that deck. Let's grab this one. Anything else they need to know, Spirit? Slow but steady. Okay, so you could be getting excited, right? You could be getting excited and it's knocking you a little off balance. You're feeling disconnected here. Take some time out for yourself. 
Okay, I'm seeing sacred spaces. Yeah, I've got discernment coming in as well. Like, you know, read the energies that are coming in around you. It looked like another one flipped here. Maybe not. You know, read the energies that are coming in around you. Um, if this is a relationship, I'm going to go ahead and pull a relationship card for those of you that resonate with that. Um, I've got your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this relates immediately, comes in for under discernment. All right. Um, I'm also going to pull an archetype card for you. I'm hearing that you have to trust in the unknown. Oh, way too many cards here. I've got the mother coming out, learning how to mother ourselves, the thread, understanding that you are weaving a new path. That's what we're doing on the entire planet right now, okay, is weaving new threads, weaving new ways. And it takes time and it takes respect, okay? We have to respect people. We have to respect energies, journeys, you know, uh, the divine timing of things. We've got the poet. There could be some creativity that's involved here for you. It's more like an opening is what I'm getting. You're kind of opening to the way these things are coming in. And it's a new way. Okay? I'm going to get an activation card for you. This religious factor could be, you know, some kind of, again, I was getting this rigidness, right? Right? The path to light. I make the conscious choice to move toward the light one step at a time. I transform my weaknesses into strengths by mastering my thoughts. All right. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. All right. So there's a, a mindset to this. Okay, and there's balance that's involved. Yes, there's fun, but you also have to take care of things in the 3D right? How are you mothering yourself? What can you do to mother yourself, right? Mothers are very protective and discerning too. Sometimes they see things, right, that could possibly happen, might not be happening. So add a little bit of that into the mix. I've also got being true coming out for you. I am true to myself and others. I remove my mask and stop creating illusions. I have confidence in who I am and I reveal the good in me. I do not need to hide or prove anything. I replace shame with the power of love and truth. Okay? Notice all this pink, pink, divine, feminine energy. The mother coming up. Right? The threading here. You know, it's a weaving process, which is, you know, not specifically feminine, but, you know, associated with the divine feminine. I'm also getting spiders right? Um, weaving webs here, okay? Which has to do with intuition, has to do with detail, being, you know, paying attention, all right? Um, let's go ahead and get an oracle card. <clears throat> what do they need to know going into this future, please? This is a beautiful reading. I'm getting a really great energy. I just feel like you kind of got stuck in something, that it just needs shifted. Sometimes I just actually stand up and shake off the energy, like physically. You might want to try taking a walk or doing some kind of physical exercise. That might be of help. Yeah, I'm being called to pull challenges here. Unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms or the divine. If you are open, please take over divine and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. Okay, so some of you could be diving into that fun energy a little bit much because there's some escapism involved. It comes with trust. It comes with slow but steady. It comes with understanding that things have their own timing in place. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Please check out the description box. Check out the store. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.